I got power, poison, pain, and joy inside my DNA. I got hustle, though, ambition, flow inside my DNA. I was born like this, this born like Hey YouTube, it's Nurse JT, back with another video. This video is the one that people have been writing me about for months. How I triple my salary in one year, an RN salary at that. So I'm gonna try to make this as short as I possibly can and not go too much into details. Just so you guys kind of get the gist of what happened. So last year I started travel nursing. When I started travel nursing, of course, I went to California because that was where, to me, most of the money was. And most travel nurses would say that as well. So I went to California for travel nursing and I doubled my salary when I started doing that. After travel nursing, well, really during travel nursing, my very first assignment, I met a guy when I was in the emergency room because I was an ER nurse when I was traveling. And he would come and go. He said he worked there, but he wasn't there like all the time. So one day I put him aside and I'm like, okay, you said you're staff, but I don't really see you here all the time. Like, what's the deal? So he's like, oh, that's because I'm per diem. And he lives in Atlanta, Georgia. So he was basically commuting back and forth every month for his second job. So he had a job in Georgia and would come out every month for his second job working in the emergency room. So I was like, oh, well, is that beneficial? Like, I don't understand, like, why you would do that. And he was like, oh, because the money's so much better out here. So that's basically when the light bulb in my head went off about per diem nursing in California. And since my very first assignment, that has been my goal to get a per diem job in California so that I could do the same thing. So I finally locked in a per diem job around my third or fourth assignment in the Bay Area, which thanks to my good friend, Turquoise, she was able to help me get an interview for that job and I was able to get a per diem job. I am back in Florida now where this is my full-time job. I have a full-time job here now in the trauma ICU and I'm so excited about that. I'm going to do a whole nother video on that. But basically my full-time job is here in South Florida and my second job is in the Bay Area in California. So I try to go out about every two to three weeks or at least monthly. I think they require you to do at least four shifts a month, but I try to do it more frequently than that. The benefits to it, like I said, are all financial. The money that I make in Florida is three times. I'm basically making three times what I would be making if I had only had just my full-time job. So it's like being a travel nurse all the time, <laughs> so to speak. The only difference is that I go, I buy my own flights. I have to buy my own flights. I do have to, of course, find my own way to live, which I do Airbnbs. And you can find Airbnbs for four days for like $50 a day. And flights to Cali, if you do it early enough, are really only like $200, maybe $300 max. So I'm going, I'm spending $500 to get to my second job. But I'm bringing home, I'm not going to tell you guys how much I'm making. But I'm bringing home well enough to where it's beneficial for me to do that. Luckily enough, we have it to where we can basically schedule ourselves, so to speak. And it's easy for nurses to have a week off. That, that's so easy. You can easily work Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and then be off for like a week and then come back and do what? Thursday, Friday, Saturday? And then you don't even have to use any PL. That's easy to do. And that's basically the how I've been able to... Do my, go to my second job in California. I do my three days in the beginning, get a flight out, knock out four or five days if I can there, come back, rest a day or two, 
back at work again. It is a lot of work. I will say that. Um, I don't mind working though. Like I said on my very first video, I've always been one that's had a very strong work ethic. Um, even when I had one job, I was always working at least one extra overtime day a week. I feel like when I'm home, I could be making money. Why am I sitting here on Netflix all day? <laughs> you know, on my freaking fire stick all day when I could be finding a way to make some money. Because I don't have anything else to do. I don't have any kids. I don't have a boyfriend. So my free time is my free time. So that's basically it. The whole secret is per diem nursing. It's very hard to come by. It's extremely hard to come by a per diem job in California. Like uh, some people have their full time jobs and a per diem job in the state that they live. And that's totally fine. My per diem job is in a whole other state on the opposite coast of the country. But it's doable. And the money that I get from it makes me want to go out as frequently as I can. It's not beneficial to do it too frequently or too close together because then you can't really recoup from spending the money on the flights because they do add up. Oh my God, I hope you guys do not hear my dog. He is walking in here. Stud, go, 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 go. I'm sorry. I hear him like click, 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 clacking all over my wooden floors. <laughs> but that's my baby. Um, but that's pretty much it. Like, there's no big secret. Like, I will say the hourly rate that I get from my per diem job is literally about three times as much what I make here in Florida, which is why I say I tripled my salary in one year. Because I did. I have two jobs and I'm able to bring in more money than I was making as a travel nurse. And I've just been blessed with the opportunity to be able to do that. And um, like I said, this really only works for people that doesn't that don't mind working. And to be honest, you can really get a per diem job and that could only be and that could be your full and you can work it like a full time job. After my third assignment third or fourth assignment I can't remember but when I was in the Bay Area when I finished my last my very last assignment as a travel nurse that's what I was doing I was using my per diem and I was working my per diem for um I was working my per diem and getting full-time hours I was work working it full-time but it's a per diem job or whatever per diems yet you don't get benefits but you get more pay that's the benefit of it um so yeah, that's pretty much what I do. So I go back and forth between Florida and California frequently. I have like hella miles on like so many different flight people. If there's a flight plug somewhere, please email me because I need some help. I need some help, okay. I hope I'm really like giving you guys something to think about. If you're a travel nurse and you're just like, I really just want that Cali money and I want to live wherever you're from. Because that was the one of the, besides the fact that once he told me how much he got paid, my eyes were like, what? Oh, I need in on that. But besides that. I never wanted to live in California. I loved LA. I love, 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 loved when I was in LA, but I never was crazy about the Bay Area and I'm being that's just me. It didn't it um I wouldn't live in California. But I loved California nursing. California nursing, they have it so good. They have unions and their nurses fight for their rights. And unfortunately, a lot of other states don't do it. Um, and I don't even want to go out there naming states that are unionized because I'm not totally sure. I don't want to make myself look crazy on here. Um, but they have unions and their nurses, they fight for what they want. They fight for their patient ratios, which is why they're four to one. They fight for their breaks, which they don't do that. And I hate that nurses 
all over the country aren't as united as the unionized nurses in California are because we are one of the largest working forces. If we band it together instead of being crafts in a bucket, and that's a whole nother freaking video, okay? And a whole nother topic that I'm not gonna rant on. So the bottom line is that I was able to use travel nursing as a stepping stone to where I could lock in that California pay on a more permanent basis rather than contracts just for a few months and then I got to go somewhere else. And my per diem job on top of my full-time job has really taken me financially to a place that I, as a, regu as a regular bedside nurse, I never thought that financially I could be in such a great space. And that's just, and, and I'm being honest, I'm not, I'm not gonna sit here and say I'm rich, you know, I got bands. I'm not even gonna, I'm not gonna say that because that's not even me, but I'm financially secure and I have not been financially secure in a very long time. And that's, the, and that's the truth because it's a lot of young nurses. You go, you get this money, and you like, oh, I want this, that, that. And even as a travel nurse, they're spending so much money coming home. They're not even saving like you should. Okay, stud, because you really, you really just want to be in this video. Ah! He wants me to take him out. He's ready to go for his walk. Say hi to the camera. He's camera shy. He will not look at cameras to save his life, okay? When I'm sitting here, like, trying to take pictures of him and stuff, he'll look away. Look, look, look. <laughs> so, look at the camera. Look at the camera. Whatever. Crazy dog. But this is my baby. He's ready to go for his walk. But that's pretty much it. There's no big tail, you know, big secret behind it other than you got to work two jobs. And if you, if you're not the kind of nurse that wants to work frequently, <laughs> then this wouldn't work for you. Okay. This is for the nurses that are like me, that are workaholics, that doesn't mind going back and forth, that doesn't mind traveling, that has nothing better to do with their time than to get some coins. That's who it works out best for. Or like I said, you can work it as your full-time job. But that's how I triple my salary in here. So shout out to my friend Turquoise because it probably wouldn't have been if it wasn't for her. She's such a blessing. And um, that's pretty much it. And I'm signing off. Um, if you guys have any questions, drop them in the comments. If this is your very first time watching one of my videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video. I'm going to keep it coming. I know I might need to go into more detail about this as to how I got my per diem and things of that sort. But um, for the most part, that's pretty much it. He's not a kisser. <laughs> and that's it. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all next time, okay? Bye.